Since August 2017, escalating violence in Myanmar's Rakhine state has forced hundreds of thousands of Rohingya people to flee their homes. Over five years on, almost one million refugees remain living in camps across the border in Cox's Bazar, Bangladesh. International leaders have failed to secure a safe and dignified route for the Rohingya people to return to their homeland. Limited infrastructure and services in the camps have been severely stretched, making living conditions unsafe. This has forced the camps to compete with host communities, also living in poor conditions for resources. For the past four years, with the support of the Alborada Trust, ActionAid has been able to build quality infrastructure and ensure that both refugees and host communities have access to life-saving essentials such as clean water, good sanitation and hygiene supplies. Since 2018, this vital work has reached 31,350 people. 2,800 people have been supported to access latrines and bathing spaces. To maintain the spaces, we have trained mechanics and provided community members with cleaning materials and vital information. 20 deep tube wells have been built in the camps and neighboring communities. In the past year, we have trained mechanics and community caretaker groups who work to monitor and maintain the 25 water points established earlier in the project. These water points are continuing to provide clean water to 5,625 people. <laughs> We have continued raising awareness about hygiene measures to prevent the spread of diseases, training women in mass production and distributing hygiene kits containing soap, buckets and supplies to over 16,500 people. In 2021, we filmed puppet shows to teach children and families how to keep themselves safe from diseases, including COVID-19. This has since been used in 20 sessions and benefited 2,000 children and their families. Thanks to the Alborada Trust, we have been able to provide clean water, good sanitation and hygiene support to 31,350 people living in the camps and host community. Sadly, the need remains high and ActionAid is now seeking funding to continue building and maintaining critical infrastructure, provide protection against gender-based violence and deliver skill-based training.